Before we proceed further and go uh, much more in deep about the Born Globals, I have decided to bring one extra video about the standardization versus adaptability when it comes to company when it decides to go abroad. So go abroad. And as you can see, I have drawn uh, this small picture and it is going to be our company. Company. And I'm going to build this company uh, due to uh, some attributes. Sometimes you can, or, or you can build it from the seven P's to have a nice overview. So let's begin with, uh, we have some price or some pricing strategies. Then we have some product. Then we have product. As a third, we can have a promotion strategy or, or our marketing strategy. How do we want to attract our customers? Uh, then we can have a process, how we are creating our products. So we can have process. And, and finally, we can have some physical evidence. Physical evidence. And now, the, the managers are thinking, what is so special about? So they do some deep analysis and they ask themselves, okay, so what is so special about us? Or what is our core competency? Core competency. Or what makes us special? What makes us special? And now they look at all these different attributes that uh, are making their company and they decide, okay, we have got let's say, a very great product. So we did some very great breakthrough and they decide that maybe this much is uh, so special about their product. You will see why I'm drawing this line right over here when we proceed further. And they decide, okay, our prices are not really that, that great because our products are expensive, so our line is going to be somewhere over here. And our promotion, well, we have got this great marketer and he has got amazing ideas, so we would definitely like to keep, if we go abroad, we would definitely like to keep all of our promotion strategy. And let, let's move to process. So we have got this great product, but we still haven't developed any uh, great cost cutting when we are making it. So we are we are open minded and we are looking for some new ideas how to make our products better. And the physical evidence. Well, we don't really have uh, some some factories or uh, some selling places. So we are again very open minded. So right over here. And now comes the point. So we are moving abroad. So we are going abroad. And now I have I have already prepared myself this company and we are moving it right over here. So we move all of these factors. So we move our physical evidence, then we move our process, then our promotion, then our product, and then price. And now uh, comes the point about the adaptability or standardization. So should we keep the standards? So the question is going to be, should we keep the standards? Keep standards. Standards. Or should we adapt ourselves? So should we adapt? ourselves and I will give question marks right over here and now the marketers or the company strategists are, are looking at the country okay so what is in there well we have got their different language we can say we have got different language then we have got also different culture so we can say maybe we are going to some Arabic country and we have a Muslim uh, religion over there and now what else can be different in a country? Well, there is uh, diffi di different uh, political regulations. So some regulations, regulations concerning maybe our industry and our product. And now we have our company and we know what is so special about us, what is our core competency. And now we look at these factors or uh, these externalities that are waiting for us. And we are deciding, okay, our physical evidence, how much of it and this, this is going to be my, these lines over here are going to be my decision versus uh, standardization or adaptability. I will just highlight it a bit. Standardization. So how much of my physical evidence am I willing or I will adapt 
to these local conditions? Well, my physical evidence, I didn't really give much attention to it or I don't really consider it that important. So I will move a lot to adaptability. So I will adapt myself to local conditions and maybe I will find some new way. So we can conclude that uh, about the physical evidence. So physical evidence that I will adapt myself. Imagine, imagine this is a bipolar line and we are not purely adapting ourselves or standardizing ourselves, but we are positioning ourselves somewhere between these two poles. So we basically can say that we are going to adapt ourselves. Then we move to process and again the, the same can occur. Well, maybe we will find due to some new regulations, well, maybe we will find some new way of making our product. So we again can maybe position ourselves very close to full adaptability. So we are going to adapt ourselves. Then we have got promotion and we have told ourselves, okay, this marketer is simply great, so I want to keep his strategies also in this new market. So I will not uh, change my promotion or change this, so I will keep a standard. So I will keep a standard. And now as we continue, we have got our products. Well, it is special for, for us, but maybe we can find there something new or something that can enrich this our special product. So we will not be that strict about standardization and we will position ourselves somewhere here. So we can say somewhat standardized. So somewhat standardized. And, and finally, the price. Well, we, as we can see, we have got country with different language, different religion and different regulations. So we will totally adapt ourselves because maybe uh, these people are more healthy, which I'm trying to promote my product. So I will adapt my prices considering my origin or the prices that I have adapted in my domestic country. So I will somewhat adapt myself. Somewhat adapt. And now you can see we have got this bipolar line between uh, standardization and adaptability. And I have positioned myself, and I will connect these lines or connect these points. And I have positioned myself, and this is going to be my strategy or my consideration of standardization versus adaptability when I decide to go abroad. And then if I would move to some other countries or some new countries, I would always have these points or, or these lines very different. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of intuition that will help you in the next videos.